Hello friends, today let's get into Odo's fleet management module. So fleet management is a process of managing commercial vehicles for the benefit of an organization or a business. So first of all, let's install fleet management module from Odo 15. So this is our app store and here we can search for module fleet. You can see that here. So just install that from here. Now here we can find the module fleet. So an efficient fleet management system will help the business to manage all vehicle related operations, including the repair, maintenance work and management of drivers and we can manage all the vehicles. So when you open the fleet management module, you can find a dashboard where you can see all the created vehicles in different stages. Like if you're requesting for a new vehicle, you can find it under new request stage and you can view vehicles to order, then order vehicles. And here you can see we have four vehicles already registered and we have one downgraded vehicle and you can also move vehicles to reserve stage so from this dashboard you can find uh, some details like the name of the vehicle and you can see the driver and if you have created contracts that can be viewed and you can see for some of the vehicles here a warning is shown because the renewal of the contract is overdue so let's start by creating a new vehicle here and from this vehicle form you can choose a model from the uh, makers described and after choosing the model you can provide a license plate and some tags so you can use these tags to categorize the vehicles from your module so i'm adding it as an employee car And here we can add driver details like the respective driver and you can also add a future driver if in case this driver is not available you can uh, make use of him and if you plan to change a car you can enable this and we can set an assignment date and here you can see the vehicle information so user can describe various aspects such as uh, here we can add the immatriculation date that is date when the vehicle has been immatriculated and here we can provide the chassis number so it's actually a unique number that is written on the vehicle motor and here we can provide the odometer reading in kilometer then you can set the fleet manager and location you can view the company and below you can find some tabs like here we can uh, see the information related to tax so we can set the house power taxation and then the contract related detail like here we can set the first contract date and the value of the bought vehicle Then here we can provide the purchase value, then the residual value, then the model details like model year, transmission, color, then the total seats number, dose number. And here we can find the engine rated details like power, then fuel type. And here you can see this vehicle is moved to registered stage. So we can also change manually uh, by selecting from here and then you can find a new uh, button here to apply new driver for this so you can see the future driver is converted to uh, the current driver and inside the form you can also find some tabs like uh, we can view the history of drivers so we already have two drivers and our future driver was Borman, but we have converted him as a current driver. And you can view the start date of the drivers and you can attach some tiles related to the driver. 
and here you can see no contracts are created for this vehicle so you can click on this to create a new one here we can add the contract information like the responsible person and the vendor then the type like it can be repairing omnium leasing so you can choose that and you can add reference and the vehicle information here we can see that then the current driver and here we can add activation cost then recurring cost by setting the frequency of recurring cost and then you can add invoice date then contract start date and contract expiration date and here we can also include services for this vehicle so we already have a lot of services available in Udo. so you can add multiple services here and then here we can add terms and conditions for our vehicle uh, which is related to the contract so contract is created and now you can see it is in progress stage and if the contract is expired it will be moved to expired state and you can also close a contract using this close contract button so now we have one contract in progress and here you can see a tab that shows the odometer reading of the vehicle so as we have added odometer value as 40 kilometer inside the vehicle form you can see that's added and you can find a vehicle and the driver detail so if you wish to change you can change that from here and now here we can uh, view services we can create a new service you can provide the description of the service and here we can choose service type then the date and the cost of service and vendor then here we can provide the odometer value and if you want to add some information related to the uh, service completed that can be provided uh, from here now we can save it and if the repairing is in running stage, you can simply click on this. So now we have a service in running. Now let me update this odometer to 50 kilometer. So here you can see automatically the last odometer is updated as 50 because we have created a new odometer reading. So that's how we create a new vehicle. And here we can see that uh, newly created vehicle added. And we have one contract running. Then here you can find a lot of other menus like if you want to manage all the contracts in your fleet management, you can click on that so here we can find a lot of contracts created and of we have four in progress and when you close this filter you can find there are two contracts expired then you can find all the services created in this module and you can see which all vehicles use the service then here we can find all the odometers reading for our vehicles you can view details like driver the odometer value in different units and here you can also configure the manufacturers so already we have a lot of manufacturers created in Odo. so uh, you can create a new manufacturer and provide the name of the manufacturer and add images so this can be used while creating a new vehicle that is we can add this manufacturer so here for OD you can see we have 11 models created you can find the vehicles category and the vehicle type then here we can view all the vehicle models 
so is a group by contains vehicles and you can expand this to view all the models and the vehicle type and the manufacturer of the model then here we can configure the model category so we can create a new category and categorize your models vehicle models and here for this module we can configure some details like if you want to set an alert some days before the end date of the contract then you can add the date here alert 20 days before the end date that is end date of the contract so this will be useful to remind the user in order to renew their contract then here we have a reporting for uh, analyzing the cost so when you click on the cost you can analyze all the costs related to our vehicles here you can see the cost in the year 2021 uh, on each month so here you can see uh, for the month january 2021 you can find the contract cost is 21.40 k and when you uh, reach february you can see it has reduced to 400 and here the service cost is indicated in this orange color so here for uh, different months you can see the total service cost and below the graph you can find the total service cost total contract cost and overall cost and here along with this graph you can uh, find the pie chart where the contract cost and service cost are represented and below we have a pivot table there we can see the total service cost and contract cost for different vehicles that we have created and you can also switch to other views like we have bar chart line chart pie chart so this one is the dashboard view and here we can view this in graph then pivot view so we have already seen this inside the dashboard like the co total contract service and the overall cost of each vehicle and we have a lot of filters to apply on this report like if you want to group this by driver you can do that so i have grouped this report by driver and vehicle then we can compare it with the previous year that is the total cost previous year or previous period so an efficient fleet management system will help the business to improve revenue as well as efficiency